Here's my version of the X-Jet um, from the RC model reviews or the X-Jet forum. Uh, it's meant to be 250 grams, um, but this is quite a bit heavier. And the reason for that is because I've got um, fiberglass tape all over it to make it a bit stronger. Um, got 3S battery in here. Uh, the motor is uh, from a drone. So a drone motor in there is a uh, e uh I think it's a 2300 kV, so quite a powerful little motor. Um, the difference I made with mine is that uh, my servos are all inboard. So on the X-Jet version, uh, his servos are, are mounted on the wings each side, and he has a, well actually he has them mounted on the top. He has his servos mounted on top, but mine are all inboard. So under here, um, I've got the servos there, so the aileron and the <coughs> elevator server there. Um, I've got the speed controller underneath there. So there's kind of two compartments under here. Uh, so speed controller, a couple of servos. Um, um, these push rods are just from welding wire, just standard welding wire. I'm going to change these and get some proper clevis pins uh, for the uh, for the push rods here. I didn't actually have any clevis pins small enough, so these aren't going to stay. These these are going to change. Um, but yeah, that's it works for now. It does a job. I'll just show you in here. And that's just the elevator. And there's a the motor you can just see in there. Um, <clears throat> and uh, for the uh, radio compartment, this isn't ideal. I'm going to try and make a better version of this just to hold this flap shut. Uh, in here, uh, got a 1300 uh, 3S battery. Uh, mounted on the front there. I've got a gyro, uh, a P1 gyro, so gives a bit of stability hopefully. I haven't actually flown this yet, it'll be interesting to see how it flies. And underneath there, you can't quite see it, but under here is my uh, receiver. So it's all very very tightly packed in there. Um, only just fits really, which is quite good. Um, yeah, let's just put this back on. This this isn't ideal, definitely need to replace that. But if I just quickly fire it up. So it's got a lot of power. Certainly uh, no lack of power in that. Um, so yes. Quite a nice little build, uh, all made out of um, foam board, 5mm foam board, one sheet, uh, so I needed one sheet to build this, cost £4 from my local uh, Hobbycraft store, so it's a very cheap plane to build. Um, Bruce on the XJet forums, he talks you through how to build this, uh, I don't think there's any plans yet for it, there's no plans, but to be honest it's very simple, if you watch his video, uh, you'll see exactly how to build it. Uh, using a Fly Sky transmitter, which I use for all my hobbies, uh, all my uh, models. So there we go. And I just just put the tape on, just so when it's in the sky with white clouds, you can see it. Um, And this is just uh, insulation tape, just cheap tape, just to give it a bit of decoration. Nothing fancy. Uh, it's all held together with um, foam tack, uh, foam tack glue. If you search on eBay, you can see foam tack. It's brilliant glue, very, very strong stuff. Um, even without all this tape, it would still be really strong. 
Um, personally, I think it's better than uh, hot glue. I tend to find hot glue, it go kind of, I don't know, after a few months it seems to go off a little bit. Um, and it's also heavy as well. Um, to be honest, this was meant to be 250 grams, but it's quite a bit more than that. Let me just go and get the scales and we'll see how, uh, see how heavy it is. Right, here's my scales. Let's see how heavy this thing is with the battery and everything. So it is 388 grams. So yeah, it is pretty heavy. Let's just see how heavy it is without the battery. Okay, so I've taken a battery out. You can see my battery compartment here. It's kind of two level. This bit here is for the battery. Let's see how heavy it is. Let's just get this working again. Okay, let's see. Oops. Let's get that put back in. Okay. So even without the battery, it's 282. So uh, I don't quite know how Bruce gets his one so light, to be honest. Um, I've got another one here. Um, so this is just assembled, all glued together, no motor, no radio gear. Um, at the back here I've got some bits of wood to uh, mount the motor onto. Um, just makes it a bit stronger really. And this one I haven't got in the, uh, the battery compartment yet, so this is all just hollow. Let's see how heavy this one is. 106. So yeah. So with all my tape... I've got around here to make it stronger. Um, this is fair, I think it's fairly crash proof. I think it should take a pretty hard landing and stay stay in one piece. Um, so I suppose without the tape, it would be uh, be a lot lighter. But yeah, good, good fun. Nice little plane to build. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how they fly. Um, I did carve this out a bit just to uh, try and make it a bit quieter maybe. Um, these are these are kind of beveled upwards about 45 degrees. Um, what else? Yeah. Um, I did kind of put this on, I put the cut on the wrong side. So yeah, this, this should be underneath the same as this one. I did that wrong I guess, doesn't really matter, not really bothered. Um, but yeah, quite pleased with that. The next job is to uh, take it out and fly it and see how it flies. Okay, thanks for watching.